Right now I'm just outside of Bryce Canyon National Park. Just drove up here a couple hours from Zion this morning. Uh, it was actually a really pretty drive, which was nice. Um, unfortunately, there's more snow around here than I thought there would be. And the the first place where I was planning on camping, I, I turned onto the road and it was just totally covered in snow. And then I tried somewhere else, just a, just a rest area that said no camping. And tried another road, but that was closed. So now I'm just kind of in this big parking lot here that doesn't seem to have any no overnight parking signs. So. Okay, so now I'm in a national forest. There have not been no camping signs on this road. Uh, and I saw a couple other people camping a little bit back there, so I think this will work, but I just gotta find somewhere to pull over. Okay, I think this spot, ugh, spot should work. I think it's about time for bed now. Tomorrow is going to be lots of either location scouting or shooting, hopefully. Um, hopefully we get some nice weather, maybe a good sunrise, sunset, clear skies at night. We'll see. But uh, for now, time to go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, yes, please. You're all set. Thank you very much. Just made it into the park, and I think today I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling that this place might be better suited, at least for me, for night photos than daytime photos. Um, so I'll probably try to spend most of today just kind of location scouting for some night photos that I might shoot later tonight. Um, so hopefully it stays clear and hopefully I can find some good things to shoot today. Just kind of driving around and going to the different viewpoints. You look down into the canyon and it's really just such a bummer that the trails are still closed from the snow. Cause at least sort of from a photography standpoint, I think it would be better if you could actually go down and sort of interact with the landscape rather than just kind of being on top of it. Like when you're on the rim and you shoot a photo, you just kind of have cool landscape and sky stacked on top of one another. but if you were able to actually go down into the canyon, you'd be able to sort of like intertwine the two, which is really what I'm looking to do. And sadly, just can't really do that here. However, there is a plan B. So when I was coming up here, um, I passed by this sort of section of land, I guess, that had the same hoodoo formations as Bryce, but is not actually in the national park. Um, and when I passed by, there were a couple of people hiking on them. So I'm heading that direction now, back the way I came, um, and just gonna see if I can pick out a nice composition over there. Actually, pretty sweet up here. Um, tons of cool hoodoos. I uh, just took one shot with the 14 millimeter, uh, just as kind of a test to see how the composition looks with the super wide angle. Uh, right here, uh, with kind of the two towers framing the the background. Um, so 
might use that uh, tonight as the composition, but I'm gonna keep looking around and see what else I can find. Didn't end up seeing any more shots up there that I liked, so I think I'll just go ahead and shoot uh, that first one I found tonight. So now just gotta wait around until it gets dark. Well, as you can tell, it's now nighttime, and I'm walking back up to the spot that I picked out earlier today. You'll also notice I have my skis and poles here. I want to try to use them as a prop. It sounds kind of weird, but I think I have a pretty good idea. Got everything set up now. Uh, using the 14 millimeter, shooting at ISO 3200, 30 second exposures and f2.8. Gonna go stand out on that rock out there, pose with the skis. Hopefully it turns out kinda nice. Well, I think <clears throat> that turned out pretty well. I do want a better background than what is already there in the photo. So I'm going to do a little bit of Photoshop on this one. I'm sorry if you don't like that, but it's art. There's no rules. So uh, I'm going to head to the real Bryce now and take another shot. Just came out here to one of the viewpoints that I went to this morning, um, going with same lens, same settings, uh, just looking out over the canyon. Pretty cool out here. Uh, I think it's gonna make for a good background to that photo. Oh, I forgot to explain why the skis. Um, I love skiing, like it's pretty much my favorite thing in the world. And around this time of year, you know, the ski season is kind of coming to an end. It's April, snow is melted in most places, but I came here and saw that there's still a fair amount of snow. And it just kind of it just kind of came up with the idea of like, wouldn't it be cool to sort of show just sort of an imagination of kind of hanging on to that last bit of winter um, and doing, doing whatever it takes to ski as long as you possibly can until the very last snowflake melts away. Um, so that's kind of what this photo means to me, I guess. Uh, I know it's a little bit experimental, but kind of liking the way it turned out. Um, here's, uh, here's how it looks in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. There's going to be lots more to come. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.